Hello everybody, my name is Polyfez, aka Anthony Felipe, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pinhole camera out of a box camera. So today what I have here is the, hopefully I'm saying this right, Ensco Shot Jr. This was made between, I believe around the post-war in the 1940s, but the problem is though is that what exactly is wrong with it? If you try to press the shutter, the lens is not exposed. So what I did was I opened the I opened this little panel here. Exposing this, I noticed that the spring mechanism is not in place. I've tried to put it back, but it has been unsuccessful as as you can see. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yep. Can I pull this out? Oh, it's loose. Oh, nice. Okay, that's more convenient. What we're going to do now is remove this mechanism. Right now, I am learning as I go. Ugh. Now, after a long... About 20 minutes of struggling to get rid of the shutter you can focus on removing the rest of the mechanism. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm about halfway done. This is taking me at least, how long has it been? Uh, an hour. Just trying to just pry these out, these old nails has been very tedious. I'm just right now on my little break eating my delicious Oreos. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is take a screwdriver or something sharp and break the lens. This should do just fine. Oh, okay. Just easily pops off. Awesome. Sweet. Here we go, the lens is off, finally. Oh, that took forever. Now, the one thing that I'm worried about is if I stick the pinhole deep inside, you know, this little hole in here, um, I'm worried that there might be a severe vignetting or just basically like a fisheye lens kind of look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go saw this edge here until... This until this piece of wood is thin enough so I could be trusted so it can be trusted but since I don't have a hacksaw you can also use a soldering gun and well not meant for the purpose of this I'm going to let it excuse now you're gonna smooth it out What you're going to do now is take a sharpie and trace around the entire interior of the box. Now that we made our pinhole, I painted it black so none of the light reflects off of it. I also made a lens cap. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble everything. I got my, I got my hot glue gun here. Actually, never mind. Instead, I'm going to be using tape because I'm having a hard time just trying to glue on to the panel. Much better. Yep, and the light is shining through the pinhole. Okay, change of plan. I'm going to go put the pinhole at the front of it because the tape that I've put for the pinhole is now blocking the, um, the film holder. There we go. Much better. Now, all you really need to do now is just reassemble everything. All done. Jesus. And that took me about four hours. But hey, now that it's finished, let's finally test it out. 